So welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 59, that's right 59, we're nearly at 60, my age, can you believe that guys, we're going to be 60 this year, no, definitely not, not even halfway actually, no, I am over halfway, but anyway, uh, yeah, episode 59 today, and there he is, Strakosha, he's had a good, uh, you know, a good couple of performances by the, uh, the young man in goal, so... No complaints there. Now, yesterday I did put out a video uh, of my reactions of Man United. I might do that every now and then, just because it's quick and easy. I know I have this other, the True Devils channel that I started, but let's be honest, it's a nightmare to try and start things from the ground up. So, if I want to put it out there, it will just be, you know, it will be extra videos. That's all it's going to be. It's not going to take away from Master League. So, if you don't want to watch them, then you don't have to. Maybe I'll even get the misses, the new last, to uh, record me. While I'm going nuts. Now, I've also, what I've done, folks, is I want to talk about playing styles today. Okay, I want to talk about playing styles because I thought I had a bit of a breakthrough the other day. Uh, playing on Legend, I was playing around with the playing styles. And I felt like when literally most of the team, maybe 10 out of 11 players, have the correct playing styles and they're playing in the right position, your team plays better. I still feel like this is the case because if you start putting players in the wrong positions, and I'll show you what I mean you get, you get a little bit of a handicap. So what am I talking about? Well, if we go to someone like Camavinga, right? We click on triangle. You can see he's an anchor man. I've got to change that as well because I don't want him to be one. I've also got a list of playing styles on the right-hand side here, and I've changed it to the English ones uh, in the UK. So now we're not going to have like advanced striker anymore. We're going to have goal poacher, fox in the box, target man, none of this post player American stuff. Uh, and also soccer probably won't be said anymore. Where hey, only football. So this is what I'm talking about. Anchorman, as you can see right now, Camavinga is highlighted. Okay, that means it's active. Okay, as an anchorman, this is what he will be doing. He's a deep sitting defensive midfielder protecting the back line. If he wasn't playing in that position, and we'll do this, we'll switch these two round. And we go back on Camavinga. Now you can see that Anchorman is not highlighted. Okay, it's not active. He's not going to be doing exactly what he's meant to do. Which in turn, I feel like he plays a little bit worse. Uh, now as you can see, Allen is meant to be a box-to-box. -box. He's fine. A box-to-box -box can pretty much be a defensive midfielder, a centre midfielder. It doesn't matter. He's going to be up and down working his backside off. So we'll put these two back. Someone like Marlon. Now, he's a goal poacher, okay? A goal poacher is meant to, as you would fully expect, uh, a predatory striker who plays off the shoulder of the last defender. That's why I like goal poachers, because they make the runs for you. Now, we're going to have to play him as a left midfielder today because Villa's down and hudson Adoy is down. Uh, but we're going to go for Shalov and Calvert-Lewin. Shalov is a goal poacher as well, so he's going to be on the last man, okay? This is why we're going to put Calvert-Lewin slightly behind him to try and flick those headers on. Now, he is a fox in the box. What does that do? Uh, it's a striker who lurks in the opposition's 18-yard box waiting for the ball. That's fine. He's a header. I want him in the box. He's going to be lurking and hopefully whacking them in the back of the net. Uh, Kulisevsky. Now, I have him as a roaming flank. Roaming flank is an interesting one because it's basically a player who tends to cut inside from the wing to receive passes. That's why you see Kulisevsky often cutting in. D guys, the thing about playing styles is I never really took note of these that much until I started playing on manual. And then I started realizing they make so much more of a difference in the team. You know, and it's, it's crazy because I've been playing Pez for decades, but I've never really sat down and learned the playing styles and the key and the fundamentals of having them because if you can mix and match and get them right it's fantastic someone like david all right don't worry we'll get into the gameplay in a minute you can always skip these guys with the, the time stamps but i wanted to go over them um, a whole player now a whole player is a player who looks to make runs into the opposition goal area when the team is on the attack perfect he's an amf that's what i want him breaking from defense to attack in blistering pace in a matter of seconds so that's good stuff there uh, and then at the back, we've got Mina, who's an extra front man, a defender who likes to join in the attack and lay siege on the opponent's goal at every given opportunity. I mean, he's not really going to get forward until I tell him. Uh, and then Tar is build up. And that is pretty much uh, a player who likes to drop back in order to receive the ball and trigger attacks from deep. So he's just sort of a deep lying defender. He ain't going to go forward. Um, but as you can see, now we've got every player in the correct position. Kamavinga is... Allen is a box-to-box. -box. David's a whole player. Kulisevsky's a roaming flank in these two. The only player not technically in his right position is Allen. As you can see, because it's goal poaching, 
is not highlighted. I'd like you guys to test it out and play a match with, I'd say, 10 out of 11 in the right positions with the right playing styles and play a game. Then play another match with maybe six out of the 11 in the right positions. Maybe even just switch it up, a simple transition of that. Okay, now that mixes, uh, that misses, that me messes, mixes, messes it up because Kamavinga now thinks he's playing as a CMF and he's not going to be using the anchor man. Try it out and see if your team play better. We're going to try it today. We're going to see how well we do play and if the players feel responsive. But that's what I wanted to get out of the way. That's my discussion about playing styles. Uh, and that's a look at the lineup. You guys have seen it enough now. So that is what we're going for. There's a look at Huddersfield Town. We have imported their stadium as well. It's a shame Klosterman isn't quite up for it. Uh, but yeah, we are going to be playing on the usual. Superstar, it will be a 16-minute match. And uh, without further ado, let's dive into it. But yeah, I thought I might have figured it out that that's why my team maybe sometimes was more responsive than others because I was playing players in the wrong position. Actually, before we get into this, I have to do something. Uh, we have to go to skill, to training, and make sure... Let's just do this by position. Bosh. Uh, where is he? Kamavinga. I don't want him as an anchor man. Now, what do we want to give him real quick? We are going to get into the gameplay, guys. Don't worry. Uh, Orchestrator is an option. A player who lurks in deeper positions, ready to initiate attacks. Kamavinga could be good at that. An orchestrator. I think that might work well. I, do we have creative playmakers already? We actually don't. We don't have any orchestrators, though. So we probably need one. Um, and if we compare creative playmaker, he's working more on, yeah, definitely the, the top side of his game. Whereas an orchestrator, you're working a little bit more physical contact uh, balance. So we'll, we'll give him that for now. I think that's that's smart. Uh, the rest of these. Now, the only other one that I'm, I'm, I don't know if I want to go with is, is Via. Because I've made him a cross specialist now, guys, he is always on the flank crazy how these playing styles can change the game because he never comes in anymore he's always out wide which is fine because i'm gonna leave him um actually one thing no 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 you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do this hudson adore i'm gonna change from a prolific winger just so he suits the style a little bit more i'm also kind of tempted with him to play him as a roaming flank as well i'm gonna play him as a roaming flank i do like that one because i like the ability for them to come inside uh, <laughs> I've just realized what I said. Okay, don't judge me. But you know what I'm saying. Likes to cut inside. Uh, there you go. But if you have any other, uh, you know, ideas or anything, guys, you let me know about these. Uh, but we will go for... Actually, yeah, that's that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Without further ado, there's a long uh, five, six, seven, eight minute there of talking about it. But let's dive into this. Taking on uh, the mighty... That's not even the red one. But we'll give ourselves that one magic all right the mighty huddersfield town let's see you guys there so here we are john smith stadium what a name that is absolute classic but yeah can we continue four wins out of four you'd expect this to be the easier of the matches we've faced so far but you never know i don't know if this music is right it sounds good but anyway let's get into this the fans are ready uh, I just hope the lads feel good. That, that's all I'm concerned. Now, I have got a custom uh, a custom camera. This is still dynamic wide, folks. But what I've done is I've pulled it back ever so slightly. So there's a little bit more of the field to see. Because I do like to see, you know, probably a little bit more runs from the boys uh, as opposed to, to some of the, the times I can't really see what's going on. Anyway, let's see how we get on. Here's Marlin now. As we've got some space up line here towards Shalov. Lewandos Lewandowski, that's not the player then. <laughs> Where's Robert Lewandowski come from? Calvert Lewandowski. Actually, that could be a good nickname for him. Uh, well done, Holgate. Good play. Here is uh, Kulisevsky now. He is uh, unbelievable in this game. I mean, he, that's not great play, though, is it, to lose it there as Grant brings this forward and splits it out wide. Bakuna up against Ta. Try and stay with him. Good hold up play there. Feeds it out wide. Avila, big deflection, Tar is there, and now we can swing this round to do that often, don't I? Absolutely no one. And that is right on the edge of the box. Yeah, the team isn't exactly feeling the most... You can tell a difference, guys. You can tell an absolute age when the players are, are buzzing, feeling really, really responsive. It's amazing. It's amazing how different the game is when they are responsive. 
It's almost like you, you get a little bit of luck. I was playing on Legend the other day and, and I had like 12 attempts to their three. I was all over them. And I was actually physically stronger than some of the players, which on Legend is a rarity. But right now, Huddersfield Town looking like they want to press. And well, that's fine. Let's start working this forward. Holgate. Kulisevsky. Calvert-Lewin says, you know what? Give it to me feet. And David's making the overlapping run. Come on, David. Oh, that's a bit silly to, to try and control that there. It's a little bit baffling. Kulisevsky near post. Shalov can't get there. Comes back towards Allen. And that is nothing more than a bit of a snapshot into the arms of Michael Schofield. If you guys have seen Prison Break, what on earth has happened there? Defensively, ran off like an absolute plonk. Right, come on, boys. Let's uh, calm it down. Start again with Holgate. Now they, they still feel like idiots. And that's why I thought I'd found a breakthrough, but it wasn't. It was, it was just a case of being very fortunate for a few games uh, before the game decided to be, you know, dumb again. Come on, David. You, you're stronger than that. Oh, here's Grant. Diakabi back inside he'll probably want the give and go feeds that one up the line and right now Huddersfield Town looking like they may score back post delivery flicked away man oh man can we switch on maybe that might be an idea alright David play across Kulisevsky now lovely pass one how's the finish trying to place it Eventually we'll get one of those long range. Still, last season's curler from Calvert-Lewin was easily, easily the best goal that I've scored on manual so far. It was uh, an absolute gem, a rarity, but he left it late, was it? The last game of the season. All right, Allen, Camavinga, scoop that over the top. David gets it down, feeds it back towards Allen. And we were going to try and find Marlon, but no, he's been covered. Kamovinga, Kulisevsky, a little deft touch, says to Holgate, why don't you get involved? The only problem playing with wing rotation is probably should play anchoring on uh, Calvert-Lewin. Because he's going to keep coming inside. Kulisevsky, lovely. This is what Kulisevsky does though, and it's why I play him, because... Uh, saying that too much. He, you know, he likes to cut in. You know, he likes to cut in. Gives you a bit more freedom. Right, ball up the line. Swung around the other way. Bakuna. Starts again. Avila. Marlon got something on it. Can't stay with him. Chance now. See, it won't change to the right player. And I hate when it does that. My biggest gripe is when the game doesn't want to listen to you. Bakuni. Avila. Marlon, take it now. Take it now. No, you haven't taken it, have you? You've missed it completely. We are just defending in numbers here. All right, we're going to go more attacking. I've had enough. I've had enough. Kulisevsky. Who, who, who are you looking for, Kulu? I think you're looking for Calvert-Lewin, but... Yeah, no such luck. I'll tell you what, I just feel town. No joke right now. Playing some decent stuff, although the team doesn't feel right. I know the team spirit's a little bit low and that... Oh, yeah, plonky wonkies! <laughs> Getting away with absolute murder. Yeah, this is where play, play stars does nothing, obviously, because the team does not feel very, very responsive here. All right, we've got more aggressive now. We are going to be playing uh, more aggressive defensively here. Final couple of minutes of this first half, which is, honestly, it's like watching Man United here. It's been one of those halves. The players don't, they don't feel right. They don't feel right. I know when the players feel right. It could be a team spirit issue. Maybe I'm used to playing with team spirit with 97 or 8. But you'd still think a 90 team spirit will give you some sort of edge. All right, David, let's go, let's go. Shalov, make the run. Make the run, Shalov, lovely! Finish it off, there's a placement. The old placement, the old side-footed curly-whirly. And Shalov gets on the score sheet. I do like these kits, I have to say. They are quite fabulous, as much as they're clashing with their goalie kit. But that's more like it. Just one splitting pass here by David. Pinpoint, takes his time. And that's a, that's a cool finish. 1-0. All 
Okay, we're off. Another 45 minutes. Wow, now the team feels responsive. Look, now they feel more alive. Now we can ping it about. I don't get it. I, I don't get it, I swear. Well, they did feel more responsive, and then it suddenly changes. I, I don't... I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how it works. I can't figure this game out. If everything was always responsive, I would never have a problem. I wouldn't complain about the game. But the facts are... What? Mm, nope. I thought the referee was on our team there for a minute. Mike Dean, what are you playing at? Get over to the ball. Whip them in. Well, that'd be fantastic if you could create your own referees. There you go. Uh, an option for you in PES 2022 as the AI gets scared. Is uh, create your own referee. It's not a bad little idea, is it? All right, David. Let's feed that one off. Kamavinga wants to strike it. And he's going to have a go. Ooh, unlucky, son. Unlucky. And we are still playing attacking because it's the Everton way. That's how we uh, we like to go and play these matches. We go gun-ho. We go for it. Shalov feeds it out wide to Marlon. A little uh, double touch. Who's on the edge of the box? Looks like David's there. Tried to skip past him, didn't happen. Grant. But yeah, we had a nice flourish there for four and a half seconds of the game feeling ultra responsive. <laughs> then it just went back to the normal self. I don't know. I don't know. It's just something we've had to le uh, learn and deal with. But I honestly think that's what annoys a lot of people, is how inconsistent the game is. It would be nice for Konami to fix it, and then you probably stop annoying a lot of people. As we have the uh, the lady is calling us right now. I'm sorry, lovey. You're going to have to wait. All right, Camavinga, Allen. As we just keep passing this, Holgate. We're back to him because Huddersfield Town are just uh, dropping off. Feed that one across. Shalov. Calvert Lewin. Oh, it's not a bad idea to Kulisevsky, and that's out for the throw. All right, here we go. Camavinga. I'm liking Camavinga, though. I, I don't know why I always say that, because every time I tell the guy I like him, he decides to pass to no one. Well done, Marlon. All right, give it back to Marlon. Let's see if Marlon can get another one today. On the old right foot. <sighs> Unlucky save by uh, Sheffield. Right, he's fed up the line. Got to maintain the shape, boys. Grant. Bakuna. Delivers it in. Grant gets up. And yeah, that was a valiant attempt, but not good enough. Well, there is uh, some saves for you. But yeah, we've put... Uh, I'm going to put Marlon up top real quick. Here we go. This is it. Marlon. Oh, it's a late one there, ref. I don't know what was going on. Either way, that's a yellow. There's no doubt. Mike Dean, you've got to whip that out, son. There it is. Magical play. And a chance for the set piece but yeah it was nowhere near the ball when Marlin uh, Marlin just got just taken down taken down to Chinatown All right, we're going to try something different here we're not going to shoot we're not going to shoot I'm going to float this one high towards the back post and do absolutely nothing with it but that's fine because uh, Shalov is there cuts back skips past the first challenge Allen flicks it on chance for Kulisevsky uh, need a little bit more elevation there Kulu we could have created some problems, but we're into the final 25 minutes here. We'll make some changes in a minute. Ooh, a bit of a risky pass there. Here is uh, O'Brien. Feeds it up the line towards uh, Bakuna. I do play a very narrow defensive line. That's why I don't mind them having the ball out wide. It's, it's not a big deal. But yeah, Shalov's definitely starting to come into his own. When you, when, this is what happens in Pez though when you get a new player you have to give him at least a season or two before you start seeing the benefits oh here we go Kulisevsky David uh, flick that over why not shoot from Shalovi alright let's make those changes alright we're going to bring on Luigi let's see what the Italian can do Marlon never really plays a full match because his, his stamina is not great well, we're going to make two final changes. Hamez comes on. We'll get that team spirit boost and Mbabu for Kulu. So a change for Huddersfield Town. I think how many one nils have we had? This will be uh, well, this will be our fourth consecutive one nil. We're just grinding out the one nils right now. Well, hang on a minute because Luigi has found Calvert Lewin. Has he got the ability now? 
to finish. Yes, he has. That'll do. The goalie doesn't want to come out. If you don't want to come out as a goalie, well, you're just going to go right up to the goal and put it in the back of the net. So there we go. Once again, I speak. I open my mouth. I say we only win 1-0. And then we go and score a second one. But nicely done. Luigi gets the assist, if that counts. I don't know if it will, because did he lose possession here? No, he kept going. Uh, it's just just great play. But a goalie there. That's where you've got to use a bit of a common sense. You know, Pez 2022, these are the little things we need. Keepers using their brain. Right now, he should be coming out, the goalie. Look, closing him down. No, stay, stay, stay. It's too late. It's too late. So two goals to the good. That will do nicely. We should be able to seal it now. I wasn't expecting a tough, tough game here against Huddersfield Town, but you know, they did start off relatively well, but we sort of rode the storm. And uh, here we are, commanding position. I don't know who on earth that's to, but I'll tell you what, Luigi wants it through the middle, and Luigi's in! Luigi! Oh, Luigi! Come on, man. Now look at the space here. Camavinga with a pass and a half. The goalie actually did come out that time. And he put me off. I should have, yeah, I should have gone for the dink. It's a good, uh, lovely switch pass there. Bakuna looks to play it first time, but it's comfortably done. And still players running off, not using uh, common sense when you want them to. To Folo. Don't want to lose it there, mate, because if you do, you've got problems. Swings it round to O'Brien. Heavy touch by him. Shalov nearly got there. Hammers didn't quite. O'Brien again. Are we going to close him down? Don't let him shoot. No. Nope. There you go. They always want to do that. They want to get it on the right peg and just hit it. We're just going to clear that one away. Oh, Luigi. He nearly let that run through. <laughs> that was close. Swung round. Three minutes left here. Hog. Waiting back towards him. That's fine. You can have the possession all day. Something I'm not concerned about. To Folo. Lays it up the light. Chance to deliver it in. And uh, by the time you've done that, we're going to steal that. Luigi gets it down brilliantly. And we're away here. Calvert Lewin wants it. We're going to swing that all the way round. Calvert Lewin lays it across. Shalov. Grab another one. Oh. That's where, I mean, if it's 0-0, I'm kicking myself. Luckily, it's 2-0, but that's where the bend just needs to be, you know, a little bit better. It was close. Close. Yeah, we, we don't need to pound the floor. Yeah, it's not. It's not that bad. So, Strakosha clears it away. We really haven't heard him. We haven't even even heard Strakosha since, uh, since the match started. Oh, what a pass that is. Shalov. Count Lewin! Woohoo! Calvert Lewin is on song today, folks. Three goals to the good. That's a great finish. Great finish. Top corner. Nicely worked. Banios applauds. Kulisevsky applauds. Luigi applauds. They all do. Nice play here by Luigi. Lovely. <laughs> Came off Hammers. That's time to perfection. And that finish. Oh. It's sensual. Sexy as you like. Here it is. Swung around the other way. Fed up the line by Shalov with the outside of the boot and this is the finish have a look at this you can't you can't strike it cleaner oh it's a beauty so that will do as the referee blows for full time and a bit of a nightmare for Huddersfield Town they started off well but they couldn't contain us and once we started to play it became a lot easier to sort of dictate the match and two goals for Cavett Lewin is a positive there and uh, a goal for Shalov. Luigi should have scored, but he did pick up an assist. And there it is. Seven attempts to 11. And man of the match today was Calvert Lewin. Okay, so the other results. Man United lost again. Are they sure they're playing with 11 players? Blimey, they've lost 1 0 to Bournemouth now. They are in turmoil. Absolutely. Bo uh, Burnley beat West Ham. Arsenal smashed Watford. I think, yeah, that, what, Arsenal may even be ahead of us on goal difference. Uh, Newcastle 2, Wolves 2. Chelsea lost 4 0, so we actually may go top. Uh, Crystal Palace 0, Leicester 0. Southampton 2, Leeds 2. Liverpool 1, 4 0. And Man City beating Brighton. So there we have it. Top of the table with a nice uh, cushy goal difference, which is the same as Arsenal and Tottenham. Uh, but it's ourselves and the Gunners who have 
have kept the the, uh, the 100% so far. Liverpool up to fifth. Chelsea down to eighth. Uh, bottom of the table now. Watford. Man United. What is going on? And Brighton all without a point. All right, so we're going to dive into match day number five. Now, we've got to remember we are taking on... Well, we are taking on Anderlecht. At least it isn't Paris Saint-Germain, but... Yeah, we're going to have to make sure we make a couple of alterations. So it looks like Calvert-Lewin has changed to uh, a fighter, to be honest. The rest of the squad already think of him in that role. All right, now what does that do for him? Because I would like to find out. Let's go to, what is it, squad list? So yeah, there is uh, the fighter for Calvert-Lewin. So pretty much now, as captain, teammates will earn more experience points. I, mean, I guess that's good. Uh, and the condition of some players will be boosted for key matches. What we really need, though, is a playmaker. Uh, because that's going to give us the team spirit increases more if captain. So, yeah, we, we need to try and get that. Uh, I don't really... But how do you get players to... It's just a, it's just an automatic thing, though, isn't it? Like, it says players in line for role. Like, Kulisevsky is going to become a maestro soon, which will give us more experience points as well. But we want another smart player. No one's in line for that role. So, yeah, I don't know. We've got to try and... Uh, Try and get another uh, uh, another smart player. Something like that. All right, so let's come up with a lineup for this one. Um, not really liking it, to be honest. Shallow's down. Marlon's down. Oh, come on, lads. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so we're, we're pretty much going to have to go for this. Uh, it's, it's kind of... Well, there's a few players obviously unchanged. We don't have a deep, deep squad. And this is the concern uh, in the long term. But it also doesn't help when all these players are out and down but we make do with what we have so Mina at the back obviously Tar and I'm going to start on Babu today um, I mean honestly it doesn't seem like it makes a difference if you put players in the right player styles or, or not but I'm going to try and do what I can I mean Kamavinga I'm going to keep playing him as that anchor man until he changes his role he's fine he still gets up and down and then we've got Alan I'm going to start Kulisevsky today as an AMF this guy, by the way, in two seasons on my Master League with Juventus, went from, what is he, an 82, 3, up to an 89. He is a beast if you play him. Uh, we've got Via on the right. Now, he's got the cross specialist trait, so he is going to be wide as you like. Okay, always out there. All the way over there. All the way over there. Uh, but we'll certainly whip those balls into Calvert-Lewin. hudson Adoy on the left. Um, let me know about his play style. What do you guys make about it? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, and then we're going to play David as a second striker because he can kind of play there. Uh, and then Calvert-Lewin's up top. And then the, there's a look at the bench. It's not the most stacked bench. Uh, I will put Marlon on the bench actually today just for it uh, in case we need a little bit extra. But I think we'll be okay. I'd like to start Hamez more. But honestly, David's he's getting the, uh, you know, the blue form. Whatever form. He's on good form. You start him. All right. Well, let's dive into this. Hope you guys do enjoy it. We will give Watford the... Yeah, that kit works for me. All right, let's see if we can get five wins on the bounce. Is it possible? Maybe. Let's see. So here we are back at Goodison Park. So yeah, the, the team role for Alan, uh, if you give him the captaincy, I was just checking because I know Calvert-Lewin had that little perk. But actually, if Alan is the captain, which he has been for me, uh, it does reduce the, the team's fatigue. That's the thing with Pez. The thing about Pez is if you're new to Pez, and there's a lot of people who probably will be trying it out next year or this year because of Pez 2022, Master League is a lot deeper when it comes to, like, the playing styles and the team roles. All this stuff factors in. They just don't explain it to you. You know, and I've played the game for decades. You still don't know what's going on. All right, here we go. Let's see how the lads feel in this one. Are they going to feel a little bit more responsive? I still think it is the team spirit as well. I mean, we are generally more attacking when uh, James Rodriguez is on the field. All right, Camavinga towards Mbabu. He's never afraid to come forward with the ball. Let's start again. Kulisevsky wants it. What's he got? Oh, yeah. See you later, he says. Absolute filth by the uh, the Swede. Allen. hudson Adoy back towards Allen again. Let's feed that one across. Camavinga. Kulisevsky. Back to Kamavinga. Oh, unlucky. That's what we want, though. Those quick gives and goes. That's what it's all about. Here is Hughes. Closed down by Hudson-Odoi. Watford looking half asleep here. 
Now Camavinga has seen the space. This is what Villa is going to do. He's going to stay wide. Now Calvert-Lewin is certainly the player to pick out. Back to Kulusevski. A lovely feed by Kulu. This guy, I'm telling you. Kulusevski, man, by the end of this season, is going to be phenomenal. And I want to keep playing him. Look at this touch. Bang, bang. See you later. I mean, there's a hot dog over there. Go and get it. Enjoy it. Right, we're going to go back post it. Long launching pass towards Mina. Delivers it across. Kamavinga was up. Kulusevski's there. Back to Tar. We're not going to worry about whipping it in from there. Hudson Adoy. That is uh, the biggest slow mo you've ever seen there of a turn. Pedro. Referee says play on, even though it wasn't a foul ref. Allen. That's the thing now. I'm not afraid to uh, push players forward. I'm getting more comfortable with Manuel and starting to enjoy it a lot more. Calvert Lewin. Kulisevsky was there. Back to David. Where's that gone? Right, number up there. Moranta, nicely done. Now Hudson Adoy, look at the look at the space he has. Calvert Lewin, I wanted the quick give and go there. I've just realised, yeah. Well, I was playing uh, Kulusevski as a counter target. Completely forgot about it, and that's why he wasn't even bothering getting back. Well done, and Babu clears it away. Garner, challenged by Allen. Now we can break. Calvert Lewin, ah, unlucky. One ball over the top. Mina's missed it. And we'll nod that one back to uh, Strakosha, who's been a spectator, really, hasn't he? Hasn't done a whole lot. Right, it's time to play more attacking, ladies and gents. We've had enough fun and games. We've let Watford do what they can, but now it's time for us to stretch the legs of Hudson Adoy. Drill that one in. Oh, risky goalkeeping there. <sighs> Blimey. Back to Camavinga. Not, not quite sure who that was to, but yeah, the goal. He made a right meal of that one. Allen, great feet. Great feet, Allen. And this is a chance now to possibly smash it home. Captain doing what he can. Allen's just a beast. Seriously, I think this guy can keep going till he's uh, 37, 38. All right, well, it is Kulisevsky range. The wall is quite tall. It could be difficult to get this up and down from such a short range. And it comes off Hughes' head for a corner. Right, we're going to do the train. Not trainer. Now we've got the English. We've got the old train. Tar is up and the keeper. Oh, he's got a good old cushy palm onto that one. Look at that. If that's in the corner, it's a goal. And I love the nets, though. I love the nets. All right, let's do train again. Let's train this up. But we're going to go a little bit deeper. A little bit deeper. Ball's delivered in. Tars up again, and this time it's in. Well done, big man. Fantastic header. Boosh. It does help, ladies and gents, when you have Tar and Mina, who are about six foot four apiece. It certainly helps with the headers. Great delivery. Goalie this time gets a palm onto it, but he can't keep it out. Too much power onto it. And the Toffees score for a fifth consecutive game. Or even sixth consecutive game if you count the uh, the Bayern Munich one, and it's one nil. I mean, initially I did say that data back four was harder, and now it's uh, I don't know. It seems to be different, but it, it, it really depends who you're facing. You know, who are you going to face? Uh, Camavinga, Aaron, Allen. I uh, watch Camavinga wants it back towards him. Go on, go on, son. Uh, Via. Plenty of time now to deliver this one towards the back post. Oh, that was a fantastic header by Hudson Odoi there. Yeah, I think I might change Villas from cross specialist. I don't like cross specialist very much now, and I was getting way more production value out of Villa before uh, before we did that. Now he just wants to stay wide every time, and it's it's just causing me not to create as much with him because he is a player that I like to dribble with. I want him cutting in a bit more. I don't want to give them all roaming flank. Okay, here we go. Another 45 minutes for you. I'm actually putting Kulisevsky now as a second striker. Okay, that's where he's going to be playing. And um, we're going to see what he can do there. Because, I don't know, I feel like he'd be a good player to, to feed up top. Here is Hughes. Delivers it near post. Watford, by the way, didn't have a single chance in the first half. 
So that should tell you the story here. Now watch the run of Kulisevsky. Come on. No, unlucky the goalie's there. Launches it clear. And Babu gets up with a towering leap. Cathcart with a long ball forward. Mina all day. Thank you very much. Here is Via now. Kulisevsky wants it up the line. Does find it. Back to Via. Uh, some space here for Allen. Little flick back towards Kamavinga. Opens up some space out wide here for Via. He finds Kulisevsky. Ooh, nearly rode the challenge there. We try to draw the foul and get a penalty out of it. Not quite. But yeah, I'd like to push on now. I'd like to push on and grab some more goals. Calvert-Lewin. Via. Calvert-Lewin. Oh, not Calvert-Lewin. That's Kulisevsky. Dangerous thing to do there. Play that across the face of your goal. Tar wins it. Bit of a forced ball there. Didn't need to do that. Should have took a touch, but... It's a loose pass from Watford. They've swung it all the way around to Seema. First time pass and uh, Mina, yeah. Right now, Mina and Tar, and th they're working better. You know, when we first got them, it's a little bit shaky. But as I said before, you often have to give these players a lot of time. Now watch this switch. Oh, it's an absolute beautiful ball. Sebastian, take him on, son. Great play. How's the delivery? Big deflection. Oh, it's all over the place. Comes back to David. I was going to hit a lovely volley there, but didn't have the time. Kamavinga, Allen, back to Kamavinga. Try to play it off, but now we're starting to play a little bit more football. Kapu. Seema, I'll watch the run through the middle, and Babu, you come across. But I do love him, Babu, as a, as a centre-back. Look at him, look at him. It works, and I wasn't going to do that. Didn't want to super cancel. Cathcarts. I think we're just going to go more neutral now. I don't want to uh, force an error. David. Here we go, Allen, Calvert-Lewin. Well, why not have a finish from there? Unlucky uh, Calvin-Louis. Uh, Try to bend it. And Seema launches it forward. I mean, it's been a little bit more of an even half than the first half, but we've still dominated for the most part as uh, Kamavinga does find Calvert-Lewin. I don't know what I was doing there. Why didn't I just shoot? You're probably wondering yourselves. I don't know. Here's hudson Adoy. Okay, well, if you don't want to close him down, okay. This is what I mean with the AI, though. Like, what are you doing? What are you actually doing? I, I, I don't get it. This is why I'm always contemplating legend, but I do know that if I put it... This is why we need a difficulty between <laughs> superstar and legend, because I know if I put it on legend, it's, it's going to be a shambles. And we're going to make a change. Two changes, Luigi on and James as well. All right, well, Luigi's just come on, so I'm going to hit... The, you know what we're going to try, folks? Right here. There it is. Laser beam focus and knuckle shot. Because I do have knuckle, knuckle, bot, knuckle, knuckle, bot trait. Knuckle ball trait. All right, here we go. Let's see how this goes. It is going to be Luigi! All right, there was a bit of swerve on it, but it didn't really go anywhere because it was kind of close to the, uh, the keeper, but worthy of an attempt. I mean, they've got to be the hardest ways to score. Knuckle ball... Oof. Possible. I've tried about 50 times with Ronaldo. Never works. Lovely play here. Allen. Well, people are going to back away. Oh, Luigi with the touch there, but Watford are just... I don't want a free gift, but I honestly feel like if you're not going to close me down, Watford, I'm going to abuse what I can, and I might as well just do it at this point. Because it is only 1-0, and as long as it's only 1-0, Watford is still in this contest. All right, Villa. I'm going to start this again. Swing it all the way around there to Tar. He's going to nod that on to Kulisevsky. Now, Luigi's on, but we're going to feed it back into Allen. A little bit of a loose ball. Kamavinga. Babu. Start again. They just feel slow again now. Gone back to this slowness. The game said enough. We keep it slow for you. Mina. Allen. Who's Allen? Because that's Villa. I, I think I've forgotten how to uh, read, to be honest. Oh, Kamavinga again. But look, they're not closing me down. We're just going to play this football all day. Kulisevsky lays it up the line. It's going to be James Rodriguez. And Babu. Lucky. Kapu. I mean, we haven't played that well. But Watford have played so bad, they've made me play worse. Up you get Mina. Fantastic header. All right, Kulisevsky now. 
Feeds it up, David. James looking for Luigi. Surely this time. No, no, no. We should have gone for the dink. Luigi should have had two goals now in his last two games. And I'm disappointed by it. James. Lovely turn, James. Plenty of players in there. Luigi being one of them. Oh, he's hit the bar. <laughs> that was at a 360 pivot and a head. Unbelievable by the Italian. How has he missed that? I mean, not how has he missed it, because it was a really good header, but I don't know how it stayed out. Kulusevski back towards Hamez, and it's smashed into the stands. So into the final three minutes in a match that we probably should be winning about 4-0, to be fair. Should be dominating this. The fact that Watford are still in it is uh, quite embarrassing. Um, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Let's not give this way right at the death. Brilliant, Aaron's fantastic. That's why we put him on, because he's got that little bit more cover. James finds Allen. Kulusevski, Luigi wants it. He's going to find him, flicks it on. David, Luigi, David, Luigi. It's fantastic. Can he do it? Yes, he can. Ho, ho. Now let's get that celebration. No, he's not going to do it today. That's a bit of a shame. I thought he was going to do his, uh, his ball impression. The horns. But finally, he has a goal. Uh, he deserved one. Nice play, though. I mean, that's that's what you do in the final third. Give, go, give, go. And then he had the audacity to go. Beautiful. And there we have it, folks. So it has finished two goals to nil. I think Watford probably had maybe uh, one or two attempts the whole game. That's one of the worst performances I've ever seen from the side. They were dreadful. We could have scored more. We should have scored more. But, you know, sometimes you play like... They didn't have a shot. Do you know what I mean? That, that doesn't make sense to me. 14 attempts to zero. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it. I'm going to let you guys see it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click next. Tar was, the, was that Tar man of the match? But I'm not going to... I'm going to show you guys, as always. It was on Superstar. Anyway, Man United bounced back with a 3-0 win against Huddersfield Town. Finally, good to see him starting to win a game. Uh, West Ham beat Bournemouth. Arsenal losing to Newcastle. Wolves drawing against Crystal Palace. Leicester drawing against Chelsea. Love it. Uh, Tottenham beat Southampton. Liverpool beat Leeds. Man City beating Sheffield United. And Burnley winning as well. So there we have it. We are top. Five out of five. Blimey, we need to keep this going. Tottenham second, Liverpool up to third with Arsenal dropping down a place. Man United finally out of relegation now uh, in 15th place. So we are going to return to take on Anderlecht uh, in that competition right there. The UEFA Champions League. We've had a good start uh, beating Bayern Munich. And now we have to do the same. So yeah, here it is. Bang. General settings, superstar. I don't understand Watford there at all. I don't know. I, I don't. I, I can't figure this game out. I'm just here to play it. I mean, I love playing on manual, but I really would like a challenge every now and then. And I know a lot of you will be saying, well, just crank it up to legend. But then we're going to go from winning comfortably to still creating. My problem will be I won't be able to score because the goalies will probably be superhuman. And then they'll start getting the, uh, the advantages where they're more physical than you. They're faster than you. Who knows? Maybe next season. I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we could do a really tough season and see if we can survive. Uh, but anyway, we'll return. Let me know your thoughts below as always. Taking on Anderlecht and Newcastle. So yeah, it seems like we have a pretty good start to the season with teams. And then, well, we're taking Nottingham Forest on. Uh, oh, Spoonie's team. <laughs> uh, in the FA Cup second round. Uh, and then we've got Everton against PSG. We've got Crystal Palace. Then we're taking on... Chelsea, Southampton, Paris Saint-Germain, Liverpool. Okay, so we've got a harder run here when we take on PSG, Liverpool, Man City, uh, and then Brighton. Well, Brighton's not the hard one, but yeah. Plenty of big games to come. Hope you guys did enjoy it. We'll return shortly. But until next time, take care.